Join Kids Hat Family. You were so brave. Thanks, Tofu. Will you please take care of the bird while I go and change? Yes. Did you save this little bird, young man? Yes, I did. That's very good of you. You are a brave boy. While we take care of the little bird, can I tell you all a little story? Yes, yes we, we want, want a story. story. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess. One day, her mother the queen told her that she had fixed her marriage with a prince. The son of our friend, King of Shazam, is a wonderful prince. You will be very happy with him. You must leave for Shazam immediately to meet the king and the prince. Take your maid with you and take this handkerchief. Anytime you feel confused, Keep it close to your heart and you will know what to do. Yes, mother. The princess set forth for her journey with her maid. But on the way, the maid changed her behavior entirely. I refuse to serve you anymore. Now onward, you will be my maid and I will be the princess. And if you tell anyone about this, you will be cursed. Give me your clothes and possessions right now. The princess was gentle-hearted and so she agreed. As tears rolled down her cheeks, she wiped them with her mother's handkerchief. Suddenly, it spoke to her. If the queen were to know of the maid's behavior, she would be heartbroken. Hence, the princess decided never to tell anyone about her true identity and went along as a maid to Shazam. When they reached Shazam, the maid decided to get rid of the princess. I do not need my maid anymore. You can assign her some other job. The minister assigned the princess to work on a geese farm with a man named Kurtkin. It was her job to take care of the geese. The princess learned everything about her job and became a very good goose girl. One day, Kurtkin and the princess got into a fight. And Kurtkin went to complain about her to the king. I do not wish to keep the goose girl. She is horrible and strange things happen around her all the time. Is that so? Let me investigate this matter myself. The king started following the princess. 
he noticed that she was a sincere and sweet girl and there was nothing wrong with her. He also thought there was extreme sadness about her so he decided to talk to her. Dear girl, is there a secret close to your heart? Yes, your majesty, there is. But alas, I cannot share it with anyone because no one should know about it. Why don't you tell it to the big boulder over there? It can't tell anyone anything. The girl agreed. and told the boulder everything. But she didn't know that the king was hiding behind the boulder and heard everything. The next day, the king went to the court and summoned the maid and told her the story of the princess and the maid and asked her, What punishment would be fit for such a maid? The maid did not realize that it was her own story and came up with the hardest punishment. Such a person should be flogged and sent away from the kingdom forever, your majesty. Correct. Guards, take this imposter away. She has been living amongst us as a princess while the real princess has been toiling as a goose girl. Flog this liar and banish her from the kingdom. The guards immediately grabbed the maid and took her away. That night, the king threw a gala ball and celebrated the real princess as his son's wife-to-be. That is a very good story. Thank you. What do you think, Tofu? You are right, dear. People who take up another person's identity are wrong. I am sorry, everyone. I lied to you all. It was Tia who saved the little bird, not me. Thank you for telling the truth, Tofu. Yes, thank you for telling the truth. It was very brave of you. What is wrong, Tofu? I don't want to go to school today. Jim and Jerry took all the tokens I had collected for the charity and submitted it as their own. Now they are going to win the appreciation sticker. Don't worry about it, Tofu. Sometimes it's okay to let go of things and just hold on to the joy they brought you. I don't know, dear. Do you know a nice story to help me believe? Sure, I'll tell you a story. Once upon a time, a poor farmer was ploughing his field. When he hit something hard, it was a large metal pot. What's this? A metal pot? I wonder if there is something more valuable underneath. In the hope that he could find something more valuable, the farmer dug deeper and wider. Tired after hours of searching, the farmer decided to rest. He left his spade in the pot.
and lay down under the tree. A while later, when he got up and went back to the pot, he was surprised. How is this possible? The pot is full of hundreds of spades. I had left only one in it. Looks like this is a magical pot. Let me see what will happen if I put a mango in it. Just as the farmer had thought, the one mango turned into hundreds of mangoes when he left it in the pot. This is truly a magical pot. I will take it home and use it to tide over our troubles. The farmer went home and hid the pot at a safe place. He then went to the market and sold the mangoes. He earned a handsome sum for them. On the way back, he brought some grains. He went home and put each one of them in the pot one by one. enough of grains to last his family for the rest of the year. The farmer called his wife and told her everything that had happened. blessing. We should use it wisely to become rich but also keep it safely hidden. The farmer agreed with his wife. Over the year, he slowly started putting things in the pot. Fruits, vegetables, textiles and in some years, he turned around his family's fortune. Though they had been secretive and very careful about their magic pot, people started noticing how they had become rich. And soon their secret was out. It even reached the king's ears. Such a powerful magical pot should be a part of the king's treasury. The farmer has no right to keep it. Only I have the right to own that pot. The king ordered the soldier to bring the pot to the palace. The soldier stormed into the farmer's home. and confiscated the pot. They brought it to the king. Let me see what is inside the pot that makes it so magical. Once I find what it is, I will become a hundred times more powerful. 
the king peered over the pot and looked into it. As he did, he lost his balance and fell into the pot. As he fell, he hit his head on the edge of the pot and became unconscious. When he woke up, he saw that there were hundreds of kings like him. They all fought each other to get to the throne and died. Soon the news reached the farmer and his wife. Should we get the pot back now? The king was foolish and his curiosity killed him. But it is not safe to keep the pot anymore. We have enough money and riches to take care of us and our many next generations. Let us leave the pot within the king's treasury. Oh, thank you, dear. That was indeed an inspiring story. And I feel much better now letting go of those tokens. Good to know that, Tofu. Now will you please finish your cereal so that we can go? For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, Join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.